I've been getting a few comments on my videos about people asking me what mountain bike gear I wear. Now over the years, both me and Dad have tried a few different types. Some have been great, some have been all right, and some have been not very good at all. So I'm gonna go through and tell you what I wear and why I wear it. Right, first thing we're gonna talk about is your shoes. Super important to get some nice shoes because you want good grip on the pedals. Now for me, it has to be 510s. Had them for years and it's just all I wear. I personally really like the Freerider Pros. They are more expensive, but I just think they're so grippy. Slightly slimmer shoe. Um, so I've got slightly slimmer, narrower feet, so I find they're really good. The other just normal Freeriders are great as well. I did start out with those, but yeah, they're more of a wider shoe, but they've just got insane grip. You literally just like, stick to the floor and on the pedals, it's just so good. So if you're riding flats, they are must have. Next thing I'm gonna talk about is the bottoms. So shorts, great for summer, and you can wear them in the winter as well. I used to wear them all the time. Just really wanna find some shorts that are gonna be nice and easy to move when you're pedaling about. I like to give some that are a bit longer, that go near the knee pads. I just think they look a lot better and they're really nice. Some of the brands that we, uh, we go for, Fox, uh, they are always a good brand. Some of the sizes can be a bit smaller is the only thing, but yeah, I do find they're really good. Troy Lee though is the number one I always go for. I think my ones are the Spin Drift or there's something like that. I can put them in the comments. But yeah, they're amazing shorts. I think they're really breathable and just really nice with deep pockets. I think they're great for riding. Now it's got to the winter, something I've started wearing a lot of and you might have seen if you follow the channel is trousers or um, you might call them pants. But yeah, they are amazing I think. I, they are a game changer. I always used to get the perception that you had to, they're more of like a downhill style rider short so they weren't very good for pedaling. But that isn't true. Like I wear the trousers and you can just wear more weather. But when, you're, when the, like the rain's hitting hard, especially here in the UK, just having those big puddles when you've got trousers on, it just keeps you nice and dry, keeps you nice and clean, and they are really nice. The brand I go for my uh, trousers, or you might call them pants, is again, Troy Lee. It's, Troy Lee is, to be fair, one of the big brands that I use for most of my clothing. Really, really good fit. It is more expensive, but it is definitely worth it. There's two different fits you can go for. So Dad likes the ride fit. It's just a little bit more looser, a little bit more baggier. I always go for the racing fit. It's quite tight and slim. I quite like that because like when you're on the bike and you've got like the chain ring and stuff, I just like having it all quite tight. Don't want anything getting caught. But yeah, both, both fits are really good. So whatever you prefer. And like I say, they, they are expensive, but they are really good and they last. And yeah, you just find that you just will wear them all time, all year round in the end. Right, underneath your shorts or your trousers, you might want to wear like a liner or like padded boxers. Because I know like again, like when I started out, you just wear normal boxers or underwear, but it can rub and just be pretty uncomfortable when you're sat in the saddle for quite a long time. So yeah, like padded shorts or liner are really good. Now some of the shorts at like the Troy Lee Spin Drift, they actually came with a nice liner. And what you actually find is great about those is that they're really long and you can even like a little hack you can put the elastic over the knee pads and then they keep your knee pads in a good, like solid position. They stop them slip them down, which is really great too. Moving on then to the top section. 
Jerseys. I've got loads of jerseys and they are, they're just so fun. I find like you never have enough. With these, short sleeve and long sleeve. Short sleeve, great for the summer because it does get hot and it's just, I find they're nice and free. You can move around the bike a little bit more and they're yeah, super comfy. Then long sleeve, obviously again for the winter, but you can wear them all year round. Good ones I find are like the technical material. And then if you can find ones where they've got like little air vents in like the arms, that can be great, especially in the summer, just because I say you do get pretty hot and sweaty, um, especially when you're climbing up some pretty steep hills, there's no breeze. So that's good. Um, brands, Troy Lee, obviously, they are great. Again, expensive, but they've got the racing fit, which is really nice. Gives you like a tight neck, just overall nice tight on the arms, which again, I like, because they, they look good. Plus it's just, I'm not too keen on having baggy clothing when you're riding. I like to be, to just sort of feel quite tight. It's all nice and stretchy, good set of gear. Um, Dekine, they're like, you see a lot of that in Canada, along with Chromo Mag. Got a few bits of those, they're really, really cool. So a um, little bit harder to get hold of in the UK, but if you are in Canada or you take a trip there, definitely yeah, stock up on some because dad did there last year and in, honestly, the stuff's really cool. I didn't and I definitely should have because it is, it's really cool stuff and it feels really nice. Underneath your jersey, you might want a base layer. Super important for the winter, like today, it's a cold day. So I've got a nuke proof base layer on, just like a tight kind of compression top. Now, it, what you want to look for is the merino wool stuff. It's really, really nice because it just keeps the warmth in, but you don't find you sweat too much. And in weather like today, when it is cold and bitter, it does help so much, it makes that difference. Just keeping you nice and warm. So yeah, definitely look out for some stuff like that. And like I say, merino wool is the one to go for. Moving on to the winter months, gonna need the waterproofs, gonna need the jackets. So for us, it always is Endura MT500. It's like a, like a range that they've got and it is really, really good stuff. Again, it might be a little bit pricey, but when it comes to waterproofs, it will just make the difference. If you ride in, it starts trucking it down with rain. It does just really keep all the rain and water on your jacket, all the layers underneath are nice and warm still, because otherwise you're just gonna get soaking wet, cold, miserable, and it's not gonna be any good. But if you just, like a day like today, it's not raining, but it's cold. These soft shells, you'll probably see I wear these in all my videos, like they are so comfortable. Nice, tight fit, but they are super stretchy. So like when I'm doing like my manuals and stuff, not restrictive at all. And yeah, they're just, they're warm, got nice big pockets. Honestly, I think like these jackets are one of the, the best mountain bike items I, I have really. So absolutely, if you're looking for a soft shell, the MT500 stuff is great. Next thing I'm going to talk about is the protection. I'm going to start with the helmet. I have a POC Cortal helmet and it is the race version. So I started out with the Bell like Super Helmets or Supreme Helmets, something like that. But it's the ones where they've got like a chin bar that's so they can be a full face or a trail helmet. They are good because they do like the two in one. But I think the thing that I found with them is that because it's designed to be a full face helmet as well, when like I mostly use a trail helmet, it just, the shape of it, I just didn't feel was quite right. It wasn't probably as comfy because like I said, it's trying to be two in one. So yeah, the pot court all came on offer and I bought it. And yeah, I think it's been amazing. Really nice shape. It sort of sits a lot lower around the back and just sort of like, just, yes, yeah, it sits nicely on your head. And then it's got tons of safety features, um, just to, all to do with like medical information and being able to kind of, like technology to do with finding you in earthquakes and crazy stuff like that. But yeah, overall is great. Protects your head really well. So absolutely recommend the pot Cortal helmet. So now talk about the gloves. These gloves are really, really cool. We use these a lot. They're made by 100%, that's the brand. And um, they're called, dad thinks they're called the briskets. So, but they're quite funny. They, um, it has, has rubbed off now. It used to say like, how much effort do you give? And then the purpose is, give 100%. Dad's got some, uh, mine's all worn down now, but. but yeah, honestly, they are really good gloves. So these are, they're quite thick, 
but they are really good in the winter. Keep your hands nice and warm. Gloves are super important because they're just going to give you more grip on the bars and they protect your hands otherwise. So like, you're just going to shred your hands up. So yeah, I do really recommend having the uh, the briskets. They're good, bit of a funny name, but they are, they are really good gloves. I do think gloves are something that if you're in a shop, it's worth trying them on because it depends what sort of fit you like. And because I tend to run gloves like a little bit smaller, again, for the tighter fit. I don't really like like baggier gloves. I just think it's nice to give a good feeling of when you're holding onto the bars. So worth trying them on, just so you know exactly kind of what you like. Final bit of protection is the knee pads. For some reason, other than your head, it's like one of the most important parts of the body that every mountain biker decides to cover. But yeah, gonna talk about knee pads. I started with some like Fox ones. I can't remember the brand, like, sorry, I can't remember the model of them. But they were so weird, cause like, they were okay, but they're, honestly, there's about like this thick. So it felt like they had like no protection at all. So now we do some like bigger and a bit crazier stuff. We, um, I ride with race face ambush pads. So they are pretty chunky. They've got quite a fair bit of protection on the knee and then also on the inside and outside of the leg. They've got like five straps in total. They've got like some inner ones and then some big ones that go over top. It all adds up to basically having a solid knee pad that doesn't slip down because that's just always a pain when you ride in and constantly have to pull them up. So they stay exactly where they need to be. And then they've got good breathability. In the back of the knee pad, it's all open like where there's like the kind of little I don't know what you call it. The bit on the back of your knee, basically. It's just like a crease almost. It's just where can, like, you can like, get build up a sweat and it just stops it getting too sweaty. And they, like I say, they do feel nice. Like put it this way, dad's like driven home before and left his knee pads on all the way home. So that shows you that they are pretty comfy. So yeah, I did add the point there um, with the knee pads that dad drives home them sometimes. He does actually do it quite a few times. It's quite funny, but it does like emphasize the point that they are really comfy. Because I remember like when I used to wear knee pads and stuff, they just used to be so like uncomfortable. I find you put them on because you like, you want to protect yourself, but you just couldn't wait to get them off. So let's say the fat dad drives home in them, that it, it's just like a good point to say they are comfy. So that is the end of today's video. Hopefully it will just help you out a little bit about what gear I wear. As I said, we've tried a few different stuff over the, over the years. And like, I do feel now we're at a point where we've got some really good brands that we like and lots of really cool clothes for different weather. Now I know some of it can be expensive, the Troy Lee, the 510 like Freerider Pros. What I would say, just really look out for the sales. I, I've been pretty lucky recently with Chain Reaction, picked up some 510s Pros for as cheap as like 30 quid, when they're normally like 110. So let's say expensive stuff, it lasts. But just try and look out for those deals because you might find you get some really, really good bits. But yeah, as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week for another ride.